In this problem, we're going to solve this inequality using something called the test point method. So the test point method says that you first want to make sure that you have zero on one side. And then you want to make sure you have a single term on the other side. So we don't quite have that here. So to fix that, we should be able to factor this. Let's try it. So we have parentheses x, parentheses, parentheses x, parentheses, greater than or equal to zero. So we need two numbers that multiply to 28 and add to 11. I think four and seven will do the job because four times seven is 28 and four plus seven is 11. The next step in the test point method is to take each of these factors and set it equal to zero. And again, I wanna emphasize that this is a step. Um, this is not something that follows like algebraically from this. It's just something that we kind of just memorize and do, it's a process. Okay, so just take each one and set it equal to zero. And then we solve each of these for x. So in the first case, we just subtract four and we get negative four. And then over here, we subtract seven and we get negative seven. So recap, first factor if needed. So in this case, we factored, make sure you have zero here. Next step, take each piece, set it equal to zero, solve for x. Next step, put these on a number line. So here is our number line. And negative seven is smaller than negative four, so it's gonna go over here on the left, and then negative four will go here. And so the test point method continues as follows. Basically, you're supposed to pick a number over here, smaller than negative seven, and you plug it in to this inequality. Or you can use this one, but we'll use this one. If it's true, you shade here. If it's not true, you don't shade. Then you're supposed to pick a number here, plug it into this inequality. If it's true, you shade here. If it's not true, you don't shade here. Then you pick another number over here and you plug it into this inequality. If it's true, you shade. If it's not true, you don't shade. Well, there's an easier way to do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it by just plugging in one number. And this doesn't always work, but it'll, it'll work in most of the problems and, and all the problems we're doing. So let's just check the easiest number in the entire world, zero. So zero is over here somewhere. So let's check zero. I'm gonna take zero and plug it in for the x. So we have zero plus four, zero plus seven. And we want to see if this is greater than or equal to zero. So we have four times seven. And we want to see if this is greater than or equal to zero. So 28 greater than or equal to zero. Yes, that is true. 28 is actually a positive. Uh, yes has one S. <laughs> it's definitely true. <laughs> so we're going to shade here. So what's the trick? The trick is the pattern is always shade, no shade, shade, no shade. So it's shade, no shade, shade. You always alternate the shading and the no shading. What if, what if, it was, say instead we got negative two greater than or equal to zero. Then it would be no, that's not true. So then what, it, what would it look like? This is important, let me show you. So then, in this case, it would be no shade over here on the right, but then we would have to shade in the middle, and then we wouldn't shade here. So if it wasn't true, then you wouldn't shade, shade, no shade. So no shade, shade, no shade. That's if it wasn't true. But in this problem, it was true, so we shaded, no shade, shade. The last part is to write the answer down. So because we have equality here, we're gonna use brackets. And remember, the brackets always face the shading, okay? So now from the picture, we can get the answer. So it'll be negative infinity all the way to negative seven, bracket, union, negative four, all the way to infinity. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.